Did you know that almost 90% of diabetic patients can control their after meal blood sugar spikes by making just three simple lifestyle changes? Hi, my name is Sampur. I'm a type 2 diabetic and I have been managing my blood sugar without any medication or injection while still enjoying the simple joy of life like everybody else. Over years of experimenting with food and exercise, I have learned something important. It's not always about what you eat. It's also about what you do right after eating. So let me share three proven tricks that actually work. Hope you'll find these simple but proven tips extremely useful. Few days ago, I had posted a post on my channel asking you all what kind of content I should be creating next. And then overwhelmingly 60% of you voted for tips for managing blood sugar as a topic. So as you asked, today I'm about to share few tips that will help you control your post meal blood sugar spikes. Number one, walking. Yes, walking, simple but powerful. Go for a 20 minute walk after every meal. It doesn't have to be fast or intense, just steady movement. Science behind this is very simple. When a regular healthy person eats and sugar levels in their body stream goes up, their body generates a friend called insulin that brings it down. Simple. But when the same scenario is repeated with a diabetic like us, given that our bodies are already insulin resistant, we do create insulin but our bodies cannot make use of it. So our glucose levels do not come down that easily. Hence, we have to rely on our other friend, which in this case happens to be our muscles. Our muscles act like a sponge, soaking up all that extra glucose in our bloodstream. So remember this. As a diabetic, your muscles are your biggest ally, just waiting to be put to work. Every step you take is like telling them, time to clean up, and they do. Getting some sunlight and fresh air in the process of walking are the added bonus. Second, climbing stairs. If you feel like your sugar is rebelling against you, head towards the nearest staircase. Going up and down a single flight five times works almost like a reset. Just like walking, it forces your muscles to burn through excess glucose quickly. The best part, it's free, it's quick, and it can be done anywhere. Your home, office, apartment building, park, or even inside a mall. If back-to-back -back meetings are your excuse, then just switch off the camera, put on a headphone, and get going. Do whatever it takes, but do not go back to your seat immediately after eating. And third, quick, effortless exercises you can do anywhere. Lean against a wall, squat down slightly, and lift your heels 10 times. Take a rest and repeat again. A minimum of five times. More the better, but five will do. That's it. In case you are overweight or have joint pain or simply find it hard to bend, then just stand against the wall and lift your heels. It will give you the same benefits if you do it for a good amount of time. And let's say you have mobility issues and you cannot stand at all. Do it seated. Slide your feet under your desk. Lift your heels up and down. Make it a part of your habit. Do it every now and then and feel the magic. Doesn't matter where you are, your muscles get activated and glucose levels start to drop. So next time you finish a meal, don't just sit down. Walk, climb stairs or try these quick moves. Small steps done consistently can add up to real control over your blood sugar. Try it out and let me know in the comments what worked best for you. And in case you want me to test these tips and demo it for you, feel free to drop in the comments too. I'll be sharing more daily practical tips in the upcoming videos. Until then, Stay curious, stay mindful and take care of your sugar levels.